everyone, this is Heather with Stealing Hearts Homestead. Today's video is going to be about um, the software I use in order to track my rabbits. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Um, so if you're getting into rabbits, you absolutely have to have some sort of system for tracking your rabbits um, because things can get out of hand really fast if you don't have some type of software or a calendar system that is gonna help you stay on track of everything. Um, so the one that I use is Hutch. I'll go ahead and leave the link down below to it so you guys can check it out. Um, but you definitely have to have something to make sure that you don't accidentally have your kids born on the wire because you forget to put your nesting box in, for example. So we'll go ahead and jump into the application and I'll kind of show you how it works and why I like it so much. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thank you so much. All right, so I wanted to go over this really cool application that I found in order to track your rabbits. Um, so it's called Hutch. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the um, text down below the video. So that way, if you are thinking about getting it, you'll be able to find it pretty easily. So the best thing that I like about this is it breaks everything down for you. So you'll see in my tasks um, that it says I need to put Elsa's nest box in. And it has that it's set for four days from now. Um, same with the nest box for Snow White, it's set for five days. So all I had to do was go in and put that I bred them and it automatically calculated when each thing was going to happen. So it tells me when to put in my nest box, when I can expect them to have their kits. Um, so I'll show you a few other functions that this has. So if you're wanting to breed your rabbits, you would just go into breed and you would choose your buck, your doe, and the date that you bred them. And it's going to go ahead and put all of these into your task. So you're gonna have the date that they were bred. You can do a pregnancy check if you want to. It gives you an option to go ahead and wait each kit after they are, um, after they're born. And then it gives you a butcher date. So you'll see the birthday and the butcher date are about two months apart. And that's typically when you're gonna go ahead and butcher your kits. Okay, so we'll exit out of that. Now, if you're just now starting with the application, you can go into the little area, the three lines in the left corner, and you can hit breeders, okay? You can add a new breeder, you can add a lot of breeders, um, and you'll see over here that I have my breeder. So I have Elsa, any girls are going to show up in pink. So she's listed as being 1.7 years old. She's had one litter here. I don't know how many litters she had previously for me getting her. Um, she produced six kits. Snow White, same thing. She's the same age as her sisters. Um, she also produced six kits. And then I have Prince Charming, who is my buck. He is only five months old. Now, if we go ahead and we click on one of these girls, it's gonna give you the date I acquired her, her breed, what time, what day she was born, um, and then her litter. So this shows that all the boys are listed in blue. So she had a litter on February 2nd. Um, so we have all the blues and then we have one pink um, and that's one female that was in there. Um, she did have a 100% survival rate um, and the kids right now are uh, seven weeks old. So we go to Snow White. Snow White did lose a couple of kits. Um, so it says right now we have three live kits and the reason for that, you'll see down below we have one in green. Um, that is because I sold a kit. So we have one in green for selling and then we have two girls that are still left and one boy that is still left. Now down here you'll see her survival rates for her kits are only 67% because two did die. Um, one ended up latching on and not letting go. Um, and she drug it out of the nesting box. And of course it was so young, it didn't have a way to get back in. The other one was a runt. Um, so that's our breeders section. If we go to litters, it's gonna basically show the same thing. We have Snow White's litter gives you the same information we just went over. And then we can go to schedule. So it's gonna show my upcoming schedule. 
I do plan on butchering the kits that I currently have in my grow out pins here in 7Ds. Um, and that's going to be a day or two before the other two girls have their babies. Um, but it puts everything kind of on a grid for you. And then if we go to reports, it'll show you that I have um, active readers. I have three. Um, I have a total of nine kits right now. Um, I have one sold kit, two died, and it also gives me my income because I was able to put in that I sold one of the kits uh, for $15. Um, so I had 12 kits and two litters. I haven't butchered anything yet. I am sitting at an 83% um, survival rate. Haven't had any misses yet. Litter sizes have all been six so far. And this gives the survival rates per kit, the um, live and dead rates per uh, doe, I mean. Um, meat produced, I haven't put anything in there yet. Um, and then let's go into one of the litters, like we're gonna go ahead and sell a kit. So we have six kits in here. So if we were going to go down and do edit, you can edit all this stuff. So you can edit their name, their color, their breed, if you're planning on keeping any of them. And then if you want, you can go to dyed, um, the pedigree, none of mine are pedigreed. If you cull them, or, um, cull them because they're sick or something like that, um, you can add that. And then if you do sold, you can put how much you sold it for and then select yes and that will turn it to green. Um, so those are really the main things here. Um, let's go actually the dashboard here. So you can record a, bur a birth, you can record a butcher. So if we go into birth, um, you can go ahead and update it here. However, you're already going to have the um, birth down here. So you can go ahead and edit this particular task and what day they gave birth and then go ahead and save your changes. So you don't wanna add another birth, you wanna go ahead and edit your existing task that you already have. So if we go to my account here, it's very, very inexpensive. So you'll see that Hutch, the basic subscription is what I got because I only have a trio, which is two does and one buck. Um, so I wanted, the basic features. Um, so I want breed management, litter size, schedule reports, and pedigrees. I wasn't too worried about the ledger or the cage cards, um, so I didn't go ahead and do that. But as my, um, you know, as everything progresses and I get more does, um, because I am planning on keeping at least a doe or two from this particular litter that I have, it might be something that I upgrade to later. Um, because it might be easier to do cage cards instead of names, so I could just print out the cage cards um, to put on their cages. Um, but yeah, I think this application makes things really, really easy. My favorite part of this whole entire application is the calendar, how it sets up your tasks for you, lets you know when to put in the nesting box, when you need to check and see if they've given birth, um, all of those things. It's just fantastic. Um, you can also export your calendar so you can download it um, or copy and paste it and sync it into a calendar program that you have so it automatically sends you updates if you're not in the application itself but those are the main features of the app um, at least the main things that I have started to mess around with I haven't put weights in for my kits yet this next litter I think it's something I'm going to start doing and then when I butcher them, I'm also gonna be inputting their weights into their litters so that way I can get a clear idea of how much meat was produced. I'm hoping they'll be around five pounds by the time that comes. Um, so that is the app here. Like I said, I will go ahead and leave a link in the description below in case it's something that you're looking at getting yourself.
All right, so it is important to note that this is not an application. It is a web-based program. So in order to get it to look like a web application, there are a few things that you can do. So one is you can hit, if you have an iPhone, you'll have to Google instructions on how to set a web address on your home page or on your home screen um, if you have an Android phone. But for iPhone, this is how you'll do it. Um, down at the bottom of the screen, you have the square with the up arrow. We're going to go ahead and touch that. And then we're going to scroll down and it's going to say add to home screen and you're going to go ahead and select that okay and then you'll keep the name you want and select add and what that is going to do is it's going to put hutch right here on your home screen you'll see it in the bottom right corner and so every time you open it it's going to automatically take you to your home screen and it keeps you logged in so it's very much like an application and that way if you save it to your desktop or sorry to your home page of your phone um, and I think they are planning on coming out with an application they just have not done so yet I see people commenting on their Facebook about it every once in a while and they say it's in the works hopefully it's something they'll come out with but as long as you save it to the home screen of your phone it's very very much like an application and you don't really need to download it if you don't want to once they do come out with it because it operates exactly the same I believe as the application will um, the application might do some like push notifications. Um, I think that's one thing that it'll do. So if you have one of these tasks coming up, um, if when they come out with the application, it'll probably send a push notification to you saying, hey, as a reminder, you have this coming up, go ahead and log into the app to see it. Um, but it's super simple to add it to your home screen. So like I said, even if you close out of everything and you go to your home screen, it's gonna automatically log you in to the main screen and you can just operate everything from there.